Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is a mucoepidermoid carcinoma, which has actually arisen within the mandible, which is a rare location for this tumor to arise. Nonetheless, the histology is identical to those that uh, arise within the salivary glands where this tumor is far more common. So with that in mind, this is a retromolar excision covered by stratified squamous epithelium and then the connective tissue has been effaced by the mucoepidermoid carcinoma. These bright pink trabeculae of bone which I'm just pointing out represent residual parts of the mandibular bone so much of the mandibular bone has been destroyed by this tumor which is in keeping with a malignant process. So generally Mucoepidermoid carcinomas have a mixture of solid and cystic components. So we can see multiple cystic structures and some of them are filled with this kind of mucinous material. And then in other areas, we've got kind of more, more solid nests as well, but even some of these have smaller cysts within them. There are key cells to look for in a mucoepidermoid carcinoma, which I'm going to go through now. So if we take these two cysts here, we can see mucus cells lining these cells, sorry, lining these cysts. So the mucus cells are these pale foamy cells. You may have heard of epidermoid cells as well. So if we go to the more superior extent of this tumor, the epidermoid cells resemble squamous cells, so they've got quite plentiful pink cytoplasm. And then the intermediate cells I find to be more elusive, but they generally don't fit into the category of mucus or epidermoid. So if we look at this area here, there are some mucus cells and then there's some kind of nondescript cells as well. And I would say they are intermediate type cells. Those observant uh, amongst you will have noticed that we also have lots of clear cells within this particular example, these pale or, or white looking cells. And that's because of glycogen accumulation and clear cells are quite common within mucoepidermoid carcinomas. So mucoepidermoid carcinomas are graded from low to high grade. This particular example would probably fit low to intermediate type. Um, and that's because it has solid and cystic components. Um, generally, if it has a lot of mucus cells and cysts, it's low grade and something more solid with few mucus cells and evidence of things like necrosis or perineural invasion would make it fit better in a high grade. Um, category. Um, these tumours um, you can often diagnose on histology when they're good examples like this. Sometimes you can ask for a pas stain to look for those mucus uh, cells. These tumours are positive for cytokeratin 7 and uh, the epidermoid regions in particular stain for P63. Um, these tumours also harbour a translocation often MECT1 mammal 2. So that is a very useful diagnostic test to do. So this was a low to intermediate grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Path Made Easy. Thank you.